wait all year for this game. Whether it's flight for wall or pad for wall. It's hard to describe the sense of honor, tradition, camaraderie. It's all there on the field. And that's the 15-second USAA Army-Navy promotional video we released earlier this week. Hello, I'm Brian Spann, and welcome to Mead Week. In a moment, a look at a much longer version with more action from this year's Fort Meade Army-Navy game, plus the link to USAA's final four-and-a-half-minute video production of this year's game. Also, this week, some important holiday reminders, including the post-tree lighting ceremony. But first, amid little fanfare, the long-awaited new Athe's Exchange main store made a soft opening last week, about a week after the initial opening of the new food mall. Officials are waiting until the completion of the entire project, including the raising of the old facility and building of the new parking lot, to have an official ceremony. That should be sometime in the spring. In the meantime, not all of the mall and main store features are in place yet. This includes the pharmacy, optometry clinic, and lawn and garden shop. As for the new store itself, the facility is huge, more than 170,000 square feet of floor space. You'll find the usual suspects like the power zone and men and women's clothing, you also find a large selection of grocery items and more for the home, including the furniture store display. Facilities from the old store have moved. The barber shop moved into the new exchange mall, and Dunkin' Donuts is now located in the Express 32 shopette next to Arby's. It's not 100% complete, but the new exchange mall is open with a lot of new stuff already. Earlier this week, MeTV posted the first video released by the USAA video team that filmed last month's Army-Navy game here at Fort Meade. That video is being used to promote the big Army-Navy game in Baltimore on December 13th. Today I have a longer video for you and in a moment a link to the final four and a half minute production by USAA. These videos are being used to promote the December 13th game and will be shown during the game in Baltimore. Game day. This happens once a year. I don't care if you make one play or 50. Be a playmaker out there. Out here on that 100 yard field, it's Smash Mouth football. It's important to us. This is who we represent. A baby! Yeah! <laughs> of the greatness that is our military. Uh, we come out here uh, and we celebrate uh, not our differences, uh, but our similarities. This is a scene from the final production. You just simply have to catch it. We've posted the video on the Mead TV YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash ftmeadmd. Click on the highlights section and check it out, or here's a direct link to the video right here on the screen. In other news, I have several holiday reminders to get through. First, the post-tree lighting ceremony is coming up next Friday, December 12th at 5 p.m. at McLaughlin Parade Field. Enjoy music, refreshments, a visit from Santa, and much more. Once again, that's next Friday at 5 o'clock. Elsewhere, MWR has several events lined up on Saturday, December 13th, the last event of the 2014 Run Series. The annual Reindeer Run 5K takes place at Murphy Fieldhouse. You can get more information by calling 301-677-7916 or going to www.ftmeetmwr.com. Once the run's complete, you might want to consider Breakfast with Santa. That's coming up on Saturday the 13th as well. It's from 8 to 11.30 a.m. at the Fort Meade Conference Center. Breakfast with Santa is an extremely popular event. You want to get your tickets in advance, stop by the Child, Youth, and School Services Youth Center or call 301-677-1437. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week. <laughs>